What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode. This video is now premiering. Hopefully, there's going to be a lot of people that join in and comment with me. I spent a long time trying to get a bunch of these clips together over the last year. Uh, it's going to be the ups and downs, the good things, the bad things. I'm going to have some gardening, some stuff with the animals, some life and death situations. Hope you enjoyed today's premiere. It's just basically all of this entire year, just clips from all of my videos. So hopefully I can get everything to match up good. Don't judge me on my editing skills. I'm not the best, but hope you enjoy it. And let's get to this video. Hey, good morning, everyone. In uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to maintain a two acre homestead. It's all not fun and games like you see in some of the videos where we're just playing with the animals. There's actually quite a bit of work to be put in. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and mow, weed eat, clean up the house, clean out the barn, feed all the animals, give them water. If I have some free time later, I may even show you guys how to cook up some ribs. All right, guys, so it's nine o'clock in the morning. I just started mowing. I'm gonna give you a timeline throughout the day of how long it takes me to do everything, just to give you an idea uh, that it's not all fun and games when it comes to the homesteading life. So let's get back to work. So it's 9.45 and I finished mowing all the perimeter of the property. Check it out. Got all along the fence line over there. And then all the way along the fence line in the front here. Now it's time to go mow inside the fence. see behind me I got the second pasture mowed I mowed the pasture on the other side of the barn now it's just time to mow around the garden behind the house and in front of the house and I'll be done <laughs> As you can see behind me, our Texas pond needs to be filled up. It hasn't rained very much here recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and hopefully the goldfish will enjoy it. The pond looks so much better now. Check that out. The dogs and they're cooling off. I'd say that the pond is a success. Cooling off in that pond, buddy. Okay. now and I finally finished mowing as you can see behind me everything is cleaned up I still need to go back here in the garden and clean up around that but other than that I'm done mowing it only took me three hours and I am exhausted already but it's on to the next chore so now it's 12 30 I took a 30 minute lunch didn't eat just kind of relaxed inside in the AC try to cool off a little bit but as you can see behind me the animals are hungry they're all headed to the barn so it's time to feed everybody Come on. <laughs> so now it's time to work. I'm gonna go out to the garden, 
try to salvage what I can. Uh, this brutal heat has just destroyed our garden. Uh, it's always windy, but I'm gonna try to salvage what I can, clean up everything else, and I guess let's get to work. All right, guys, so I'm out here in the garden, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks like crap. Everything is overgrown. There's weeds everywhere. Half the plants aren't even producing anymore, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, clean up all the trash, weed eat everything, and then any plant that is not producing anymore will now be goat feed or rabbit feed. This is the reality of having a two acre homestead with all animals, a huge garden area. It's just overgrown, it's a lot to handle and I'm gonna be honest, it's kicking my butt. But as you can see, it's some of the grass is almost knee high in here. Uh, I'm gonna be able to salvage some pepper plants, maybe the cucumbers, stuff like that, but everything else is gonna be goat feed and then gonna get weed eated out. It is way too hot to be wearing jeans, so I'm gonna go inside, change into some shorts, get something to drink, and then I'll be right back out and hopefully I'll be able to finish off this garden. So I told you guys that I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly of the property. Well, you're looking at the, the bad and I'm the ugly, but I'm starting to make a little bit of headway here. I cleaned up all around the peppers. So I finished weed eating for now, I think. I don't know what else I need to get to, but you can see behind me, everything is weed eated, cleaned up, got all the corn over here. You can actually see that we have corn, but it's a lot of work and I'm not gonna lie, this is really kicking my butt. So there's still a lot of weeds growing in here. Some of this stuff is overgrown. I don't even know what the hell this stuff is. It might be lettuce that's just gone to crap, but all that's gonna be goat food, rabbit food, uh, we still have a bunch of cucumbers that are growing, so I'm gonna leave those. The zucchini and squash mixed in with some flowers and some other crap. Um, we got some okra that's huge. Then over here, got a bunch of onions, peppers, and then these tomato plants have just really gone to crap with uh, all the wind and the sun out here. So I'm gonna leave all this stuff though, try to salvage what I can. But as far as these plants go right here, this right here is about to be some food for the animals. Guys, check all this out. Zucchini, squash, cucumbers. I guess the garden's still producing, so. I kind of wish I would have brought the basket out here so I could put all the stuff in, but you do what you can with what you have. It's time for me to uh, probably grab the lawnmower, hook up to the fence, and just drag it off. I was thinking about trying to salvage the fence. I may try to keep some of the fencing, but a lot of it's already messed up, so I'll just try to keep what I can. Thank you to whoever sent me these gloves in the mail. I'm going to be putting some good use to these things, so time to put them on and roll up some fence.
solve stuff by yourself, but the whole point of this channel is to show that if you want a homestead and you have a disability, don't let anything stop you. Yes, this would have been a lot easier with the help of Jason and Jaylena today, also with the truck. We could have just easily pulled all that stuff apart, but right now it's just a one-man show on one leg, and I had to come inside, take a Gatorade break. Thank you to whoever sent me some Gatorade. It didn't have a name on it, but I tell you what, I've been drinking this stuff like water. I'm just gonna cool down for a little bit, head back outside, and see if I can try to pull up some of those posts. All right, guys, I'm gonna hold off and pull out all the posts. I'm just gonna walk through the garden, try to pick up any trash. Uh, we did lay down barrier to try to stop the grass from growing, but as you can see, it didn't really work. So I'm gonna go through mow. You're probably gonna see black stuff flying out. That's just what that is, that barrier. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all the trash and start mowing. guys I got done weed eating everything now it's time to clean up this section I'm gonna throw away all the trash all the fencing and metal and all that I'm gonna put in a pile and then any crates or anything else I want to keep I'm gonna put in a different pile but everything else is going in the trash Just get rid of this stuff over here. That stuff's going to the barn. The fencing back there is going to go out to the barn too. We're going to try to repurpose it. But this trash right here is going to the trash and out to the front. As you can see, our compost pile. You can actually see our compost pile. All right, guys, I'm going to try to wiggle loose these posts. They're not the best, so I'm not even going to keep them. I'm end up burning all these, but I'm going to see if I can try to wiggle them and get them out. myself trying to get those posts out I was able to get the one over there in the far corner I was able to pull that one out but I might need to think of something else so I'm gonna go inside take a quick break get something to drink and see if I can come up with something all right guys I ended up getting about half of the post out it's just uh, extremely hot now I've been out here for about two hours working non-stop I'm exhausted people I may have to call it quits for now, but like I said, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven posts out and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got half of them done. I'm happy with my progress so far. I got the fence taken down. I got sweat in my eyes. So I got the fence taken down, got it mowed down, weed eated. You can actually see our compost pile now. I may wait until tomorrow after work come out here and try to work on these posts but this stuff will get done eventually i'll probably end up doing raised beds maybe half the size of this garden that would be a little bit more manageable and then uh put a little perimeter fence around that so pretty much condense the garden down maybe into a third of this size with the raised beds it'd be so much more easier to maintain all right guys now it's ready to start measuring everything out make sure i have enough post make sure I have enough fencing before I head out to Home Depot, so let's get to measuring. All right guys, so 
I just finished measuring everything out, the garden is now going to be 16 feet wide by 32 feet long. So we go to Home Depot, pick up some posts, pick up some zip ties, some wire cutters, and a new measuring tape because my measuring tape just crept out on me. So I'll be back here in a little bit and we'll get to work. So I just got back from Home Depot. I'm gonna mow real quick just in this little section where the new garden's gonna be. Weed eat a little bit, just clean it up before I start putting in all the posts and start building the raised beds. So let's get to work. I got done weed eating and mowing the little section where the new garden's gonna go. Yes, you can see, I'll show you over here real quick. Yes, you can see all this little black stuff everywhere. That's just the barrier that we had down before. As you can see, grass was still growing all through here. So once I get the fence up and everything, I'm gonna go in and rake all that stuff out, clean it all up. But for now, it's not a big deal. It's time for me to go ahead and unload my car. My car's right there. I jam packed that thing full of stuff today, people. Check out what I got from Home Depot. Jason and Jaylena took with them to South Texas, so I'm using a trusty old hammer. My arm feels like absolute jello right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys what I plan on doing with the uh, raised beds right now while I rest a little bit. Then I'll come back and I'll drive the rest of these in as much as I can and then start wrapping it with vents. Inside, cool down for a little bit, get something nice and cold to drink, hang out for a little bit inside, catch my breath, cool down, come back out, and finish the job.
starting to get a lot more black in him. Like the the color in his fur is pretty crazy. But the chickens roost up here. They poop all over everything. So all that stuff's gonna get cleaned out. This uh, pen over here is where we're gonna where we keep the all the new baby goats and stuff for a while. This stuff. Oh my goodness, people. We have baby ducks. I did not even know this. Holy cow, it's a bunch of them. When the heck did this happen? Holy cow. There's like seven of them. I had no clue. Oh my goodness. I knew they were laying eggs over there and I was collecting them, but hell, we got a whole bunch of ducks. I thought that was pretty cool and I don't know guys, I'm still smiling about it. It's pretty awesome. Like, I don't know. I heard cheep, 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 like stuff like that. And I was like, man, that sounds like a little, uh, sounds kind of like a little baby chicken, but it's a little different sounding. And man, mine is blown. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and leave her be over there with her babies. It's time to clean up all this mess. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down on the tripod for a little bit. Start raking out all this crap and get to work. guys I'm gonna go ahead and load this up into my gator cart this is all gonna go out to the garden all this stuff is gonna go inside of my raised beds I'm just gonna let it decompose for a while I don't think I'm gonna do uh, raised beds for this fall I might just wait till next year so put all this stuff in there let it just decompose we'll be good to go We are getting there. We are making things happen around here. Like I said, Mama's not happy with me, but she needs to know I did this for the best of her children. Got to make sure everybody stays alive and stays healthy, but she's sitting right underneath them, make sure that nobody's messing with them. Going after little Baxter here. Actually, you know better than to mess with that chicken. Check these guys out. They're like a light brown color. And then you got these two dark ones here. They're gonna be pretty little birds. A uh, cold front came through. The northern, which is blowing towards the house, which is unusual, it's always blowing the other way. But we had a big storm come through last night, dropped the temperatures down from yesterday from 94, and it is 60 degrees right now. It's gonna dip down into the 40 tonight. So I'm getting ready to start my Texas fire pit and enjoy my evening.
is in a great mood around here. All the animals are enjoying the cooler weather. I absolutely love it. This is the first cold front here in Texas this year. Man, I can't stop smiling. It just feels so amazing out here. Outside, working with all the animals, trying to think what I could do with this pond back there. Not the Texas pond in the front, but the pond in the back for the animals. Not only does it have algae, but it's losing water all the time. I'm out there trying to figure this out. Had a shovel in my hand, no joke, and my neighbor Jerry. Oh, Jerry, he's a special one. We call him Let Me Tell You Something, because he tells you all the time, let me tell you something on how to do it. He acts like a hard ass, but you know what? He's a good dude. Him and I get along. We like to talk trash to each other. And he says, what are you doing out there? I said, getting ready to work on my pond. And <laughs> I tell you what, people, after today, I needed, I needed some good luck. Because this morning I was working on some stuff, and I cut this finger right here. And also cut this finger right here. I don't need to lose any more body parts, people. I'm already missing my left leg due to a lawnmower accident. I don't need to lose any more body parts. And you know what? He made my day. He might not know it, but he made my day. He said, let me go down to my house, grab my tractor, and I'll help you out. That's what the whole homesteading community is about, helping each other out when you need help. I can't tell you guys how blessed I feel right now. I've had such crappy luck lately. When Jerry came over and said he was wanting to help me out, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I got teary-eyed because I was explaining to him, I was like, I've had this, this, and this go on. So much stuff's going on in my life right now. I just need to catch a break and you know what? I finally caught a break and you know what? It feels amazing. Now it's time to fill up this pond and let these animals enjoy their new pond. All right guys, as you saw, my neighbor Jerry came over and helped me out. I tell you what, it blows my mind on how nice people are and how willing they are to help people out when they know people need help. And you know what? My way of showing Jerry that I am appreciative of his work I like to cook. You know what? We all know that I like to cook, and I was cooking some boneless ribs today, along with some of uh, my famous world beans. And you know what? He spent a long time over here helping me dig out that pond that I needed just so much help with. I felt like I need to give back to him. He didn't want to take any money. So you know what? I'm gonna give him some of my food. I cooked up some boneless ribs some of my homemade beans, got some potato salad, and some macaroni salad. I sure hope he enjoys this. I know it's not much, but he didn't want money, so I figured I'd give him my meal here, and 
Hope that he appreciates it because I definitely appreciated all the work that he put in today. Guys, I have more sad news. I woke up this morning and our old lab, the chocolate lab, Razzie, she passed away. It's sad. We've had her for probably about three years now. Uh, she was adopted from the animal shelter and we knew when we got her that she was already old, but Jason wanted to just get her out of there, let her live out her life in happiness. And that's exactly what we did. We treat her like a queen. She was well taken care of. She was just old. But unfortunately, when I woke up this morning and went outside, I found her and she passed away. She was out in the barn just laying in the hay. And I don't know. It just seemed like it's one thing after another around here. But this was expected at some point because when, like I said, when she was adopted, she was already at least 10 years old. And I don't know, Jason, when he adopted a few of these dogs, he, his intent was, like I said earlier, just to let them live out their life and, I don't know, just get them out of being in that shelter life. And we had this property out here, and I now have four dogs left. My other dog, uh, Hurley, she passed away, too, uh, earlier this year from old age. She was also a rescue. But that's just a part of life. It's, it's sad, but... I know she lived out her life the happiest way she could. Like I said, when Jason and Jaylene are here, they loved on her. I loved on her. The dogs loved on her. And you could tell that little Baxter, whenever he ran out there to the barn, he was all, I don't know, he was up here in the front porch and followed me out to the barn. And when I went out there, he went up to her. And it, I don't know, it was just like a shock to him, I guess. too. You can just tell the way he was acting. It was just a little bit different. But I keep it real on this channel. Yeah, I look like a little little biatch right now, tears in my eyes and stuff, but that was our dog. She was nice, one of the sweetest dogs, and unfortunately, she's now in heaven, so I'm going to go outside and bury her. I'm not going to show you guys that because I don't feel that I want to share that part with you guys, but I just want to let y'all know, Razzie, the old chocolate lab, I don't even know how old she was, to be honest, but she had to be pushing at least 13 or so, and... Unfortunately, she passed away.
Oh man, people, a crazy storm just rolled through. This place is flooded. It rained for like five minutes and check this out. Crazy, we had nasty winds. The whole yard is completely flooded. I cannot believe how much rain we just got here in like five freaking minutes. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna turn you guys around and look at this. That's my side yard. All this in five minutes. Look at this, this is going out towards the barn. Can you believe that? That's crazy. This stuff's headed right towards Jason. Oh man, Jason, I hope you're hunkered down because it's nasty. It had these trees bending over like this. It was crazy. I'm already going out to the barn to check to see if everybody's okay. The dog's gonna help me check on everybody, but man. My boots and stuff are all soaked. I hear the babies crying, the little goats. Here's my little pond back here. Look at this. Got the duck out here swimming. That whole thing was not the pond. It was just a little section. Now this whole back area is a pond. These clouds are crazy. They said here in Texas and Oklahoma, we might be getting tornadoes later, but I had to come out here and check on everybody. You guys all right? It's all like starting to pick up again. It might be a little dark, but I got all the chickens, the turkey, and all my goats in here. Oh, man. I cannot believe it. This is probably the most rain I've ever seen at one time in such a short period. It looked like a like a hurricane. Now, I know what a hurricane looks like because I lived in South Texas and went through a couple, but this big cloud up here, that thing was going down low. It looked kind of like a funnel cloud. Oh man, I hear something again. I can't even run because I don't want to slip in this water. I hope you can hear me. Oh man. As you can see, we got some snow last night. This is the first actual snowfall here this year in Terrell. But you can see, nice little blanket out here. It's not a lot, but enough for me to be able to work from home today. I just wanted to pop in, show you guys what the yard looked like while it's covered in snow. I absolutely love the way it looks. Uh, I had the dogs come inside last night, so I had seven dogs sleeping in my living room. That was uh, that was something else, I'll tell you that. But uh, what do you guys think? I know you northern people are thinking, that's nothing. But in the south here in Texas, it's pretty cool. Happened maybe once, maybe twice a year, but figured I'd show you guys what's up. Take you around the yard real quick. Oh, man, my poor garden. Everything's just covered in snow. Was not expecting this. Got the cabana over here. So cool looking. Like I said, it's not a lot of snow, guys, but here in Texas, we'll take it. Sawyer out here enjoying it. He's got a nice thick uh, fur on him, so he's enjoying this weather. You can see uh, the trailer over there. Let me pan around this way towards the barn. I'm sure all this snow will be gone the next hour or so, but it's about 29 degrees now, so I'll enjoy it while I can. The one time I don't put the mower up and it snows. Guys, what do you think? Pretty cool. Doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, you get to get outside and enjoy it. What's up, people? It is Friday evening, and look who I got. Got my new puppy. I finally got a name for him. I chose Tucker. I was going to choose Dallas, but there's probably a lot of people out there with dogs named Dallas, so I felt Tucker suits him well. When I got him, look at that pretty face. When I got him, he just tucked himself right into uh, my arms and 
ever since then, man, oh man, I love this dog. He's my little buddy. Um, but yeah, he is a German Shepherd and an English Cream Golden Retriever mix. Such beautiful dogs. I cannot wait to see what this little dude looks like when he grows up, but guys, check that out. How cute is he? Hey, Tucker, come here, look. Come to the people. The people want to see you. Hey, Bubba. You wagging your tail? Come here. Let's go. Go to the people. The people want to see you. Guys, what do you think? Look at that little wagging tail of his. Oh, man. He's a happy little puppy. What's up, little boy? He just loves being kissed on. What's up, little Tucker? He's too small to meet his older brothers, but uh, once he gets a little bit bigger, I'll uh, I'll introduce him to all. He'll be happy as can be with his bigger brothers, and uh, soon he'll be the big brother. But he just loves being loved on. Check that out. That little tail. Hi, Bubba. Little Tucker's doing good with all the other dogs. Way better than I thought. He's not scared of them at all. As soon as they come up, he just starts wagging his tail. People, I think little Tucker is in love with his little buddies over here. He's got back there Rufio, Baxter, Riley, Bandit, Sawyer. Come on. Tuck. Come here, boy. Come here, Tucker. Come here, buddy. Tucker. You're like a little stuffed animal, boy. Just letting him enjoy himself. Get to know all the other dogs, not forcing anything, but uh, he seems to really like Bandit. Bandit's our white dog, which he might, she might remind him of uh, his mom, so I think that's why he kind of likes her. But what do you think of his little camouflage bandana? Now he really looks like an official Texan. See, there's Bandit. She's really loving. I guess since she's had puppies before, she knows how to deal with them. But uh, little Tucker, he seems to take a liking to a bandit. Another episode. Today, I have a treat for you guys. I'm bringing my new puppy, Daisy, home for the first time. I'm about to take her outside and let her meet Tucker and Baxter for the first time. I think they're going to be excited. Her tail is just wagging like crazy. Check this out. Daisy, man. Come here, meet your, your sissy. Meet your sissy. It's your new little sister.
you've seen those tails wag like that. So I come out here to feed all the animals like normal, and JJ's nowhere to be seen. Uh, normally he's just hopping around where the feeders are, where I feed them every single day in all my videos or whatever. But today, a little bit different. He wasn't there. I uh, made sure their belts was fed, and I started walking around looking for him. I didn't see any feathers anywhere, which is making me think that it was a coyote that came and grabbed him. Um, unfortunately, I have lost a duck as well recently, my white duck. I don't know what happened to her. Uh, just one day she was here, the next day she's not. As you can see behind me, I do have this open field. It's about uh, waist high right now. I did go out there earlier, walk around to see if I could see feathers or anything, but there was nothing. Um, fortunately, it's one of those things that it's part of homesteading. I freaking hate losing animals, uh, especially the ones that you name. You get attached to them. JJ was special to me. I, I rescued him. Um, Basically, he was my one-legged rooster and, I don't know, kind of a, a mascot for my channel, which, I don't know, it sucks because I recently said that uh, if anything happened to him, I'd be devastated, and it, it's it's upsetting. Um, a lot of people say it's just a rooster, but he was my pet. I, he had a name. Uh, basically, hung out with him every day. Every day, I come out here and say, what's up, JJ? And uh, it's a little different now. He's not here. I looked under the water tow, I looked under trash cans, looked in barrels, looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be seen. This video by no means is clickbait. I am 100% serious. JJ is missing. I don't feel good about this because, like I said, I've had that other duck recently that's gone missing too. So just based off of past experience, I believe it's a coyote. Um, it is getting dark out here soon. Um, probably gonna come back out. Once it gets actually dark, I'm gonna have a flashlight. I'm gonna bring my gun with me, my AR. I'm gonna go out here and spotlight, see if I can see any eyes. Um, if it is, I gotta make sure it's not a, a neighbor's dog or something. If it's a coyote, I'm gonna take it down, but man, this sucks. Um, never gets easier. It's not the first time I've lost an animal and it's not gonna be the last time I lost an animal out here. Um, fortunately, that's what happens when you homestead or have a little farm. You get attached to your animals, you name them, they're your pets. Uh, during this whole COVID stuff going on, uh, I've been stuck at the house all the time, so I spent a lot more time recently with all my animals, so I'm really attached to all my animals, and uh, it sucks. Not gonna lie, it sucks uh, losing animals. I don't know, it's... I know I'm gonna get some haters in there just saying it's just a chicken, but you know what, it's my pet. He was more than a chicken. He's my little buddy, little JJ, and uh, fortunately, I think he's gone, so I don't know. I'm gonna check back in once it gets dark, and we'll see if we can spotlight a, a coyote or something. All right, guys, so once again, I'm over here by my barn. I'm on the opposite side of the barn now. I do have security lights over here as well. Um, I have a street lamp down the ways towards the front of the property, but I do have uh, lights on all the entrances to the barn just for this reason. This side actually has one door, the other door blew off in a storm, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give up looking for today. Hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. If not, then it is what it is. I'm just gonna be realistic. He didn't make it, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. If I hear or see anything else, I'll let you guys know, but other than that, rest in peace, JJ. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to end it with JJ because he had a special place in my heart. Rest in peace, JJ. It still seemed like it was yesterday whenever I saw you missing, but hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I uh, hope you guys stick around for future videos. I'm going to try to do this at least once a year moving forward. It's cool going back, watching all the old footage. Uh, these are just screen snippets that I was doing on my phone, going into each of the videos, trying to match things up. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go down and smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.